gains a proton so uh, why is this propanoate ion very important to us now let me show you the displayed structure i'm not drawing the fully displayed structure i'm only go i'm only going to draw the displayed structure of the co2 negative group because that's what's important over here so we have ch3 ch2 the ethyl group over here bonded to the c which is double bonded to an oxygen atom and this one which is, is also bonded single bonded to an oxygen atom which has a negative charge on it now because this oxygen atom if you remember it the carboxylic acid group it was this we had co and we had oh so since it has lost an h plus ion it has it is left with a negative charge so what happens is that i don't want you to remember uh, what i'm going to do right now but it's just for your explanation i don't want you to memorize it so this negative charge can go here so this negative charge can go here and this negative this bond can go here so this negative charge goes here this bond goes here which gives me I'm only drawing the okay. I'll draw the entire thing again. CH3, CH2, C. O negative because this bond went to this oxygen, so it had it uh, got a negative charge, and we have this double bond O because this negative charge, which consisted of a lone pair of electrons, it went here, uh, so it formed a double bond. So now as you can see, both these oxygen atoms, they are reversed because I have a double bond over here and a negative charge here. And now I have a double bond over here and a negative charge here. So they are reversed. So this, as I explained in the benzene uh, molecule, this is a resonance structure. So what happens is that the shifting keeps taking place. Now this bond can go here and this bond can go here and I'll get this again so this shifting keeps taking place this molecule can th this this carboxylate ion can turn into this carboxylate ion and vice versa so they keep resonating between each other so what we get is as a net structure what we get is I'll draw it down below because so that I can show that we are getting the net structure from both of these so I have this I have this so the net structure that we get is CH3, CH2, C, O, O, and the negative charge is spread over the entire carboxylate ion. So what happens is that the dotted lines, these dashed lines as you can see over here, what they indicate is that the double bond keeps shifting between these two and we have a negative charge on the entire bond so the negative charge it spreads evenly through the entire bond making the carboxylate ion stable so now i'm going, only going to draw the carboxylate ion again a bigger carboxylate ion so that you can clearly see what's happening over here this charge has spread out over here so what happens is that it evenly the negative charge spreads out on this entire bo um, uh, group the negative charge will spread out on this entire group making this group very stable so because this group becomes very stable it is now difficult for so it has an overall negative charge and this group has now become stable because the charge has spread evenly over the entire group so because the charge has spread evenly over the entire group uh, it's difficult for this carboxylate ion to accept an H plus ion, which shows that this carbox a carboxylic acid can be considered as an acid because the negative charge is spread evenly over the entire carboxylate ion, and therefore it is difficult for it to now accept back an H plus ion. So it has donated an H plus ion. It is difficult for it to accept an H plus ion, which is a typical property of an acid. So it is behaving like an acid and this is what makes carboxylic acids acids. So this is what gives it their acidity. 
So this is uh, how a carboxylic acid works and uh, the stabilized structure does not accept an H plus, uh, it's difficult for it to accept an H plus ion.